Hi, I'm Will Gow. Welcome to my channel. I'm heading out to the Philippines and specifically the uh, town of Dolores and the Playing the Dan Lion multi co op that I'll be there for two weeks. Thanks for subscribing. Now let's start with Manila to Dolores. It's Monday morning and I'm leaving for Dolores and I'm just coming out of the hotel after overnighting and coming from minus 12 in Mongolia. I'm overnighting downtown Manila and waiting for a veneer from Kessel to pick me up. And right now, I'm adapting to plus 25. So we're going to start our trip to Quezon Province and Dolores. I've been walking around just a bit yesterday, in the, but the city's already starting to wake up early in the morning. It's only 7 a.m. and people are already back to work. So let's see what the trip to uh, Dolores looks like. I understand it can be anywhere from three to five hours. So let's see what goes on here. Veneers is working his way through downtown Manila. <laughs> it is one crazy place. So Veneer, thanks for picking me up this morning. Great. Okay. You'll be in my next video. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but look at this place. It's 7.15 in the morning. Okay. Yeah. And you get a close up of uh, life in downtown Manila. And I'm just going to leave the, uh, the video on for about another minute or so so you can get a flavor for uh, the amount of activity at, at plus 25 in Manila. Now, I did tell Veneer that they're about as crazy driving as they are in Mongolia, but he can't quite believe it. But I'm going to tell him they're just as crazy, so it's all good. So, hopefully, we'll be out of the city here in about a half an hour. Mm, yeah. yeah, but yeah, yeah, I just heard that many years ago. What the what? What? <laughs> we'll see what happens here. I'll take a few more rush. Uh, take about another minute before we get out of the city on this one. So let's get started. I'm at one of the major overlooks of uh, Manila. But the one I'm looking at right now is, is the volcano that only was floated less than this time, or this one, two, three years ago in 2021. And ash reached as far as I'm staying, Dolores. Probably a good half hour, 45 minutes away. But take a look at the mountain. I'm on Mount Arenga's over there, the sacred mountain. I'm coming around and I'm doing a panoramic view. And you can see the mountains on here. You know, we got an active volcano belt that I'm realizing all the way around in the Philippines, Manila in this area. The sacred mountain of Mount Banaha at 7,000 foot level has dominated the region with its rich volcanic soils because it's still an active volcano complex. My first start, of course, is to the regional police chief, and then I can continue on my journey to the uh, upper areas of the mountain region. We've traveled up to a remote area of the Dolores region, and it, one of the kind of smaller villages has a health healing river that a lot of tourists go to. So this is a well-known area for Dolores, for people to travel up to, to get fresh fruits and vegetables, and to, uh, you know, go into the healing waters. So it's important. So I'm getting a little glimpse of the real Philippines. Irish, do you come up here at all very much? Yeah. Do you like coming up here? Yeah. Yeah. It's very really refreshing today. We're, we're probably about four or five thousand foot level already. Irish and I have climbed into the uh, top of the community hall. And as I mentioned, we come up here into the jungle. Look at this. Wow. 
wild, beautiful area. The honey farm provides the natural ingredients to the ginger root production. So here we are, active bee colleagues that they're harvesting in the Philippines. And like I said, they go into the products that are made at the agriculture co-op. So, The award-winning PCR Rural Co-op in Dolores supports over 1,000 members with support from 40 dedicated workers in ginger production. Ginger root is one of the most beneficial health spices on the planet, from digestive issues to heart issues to fighting off infections. This is a great spice. Now watch how they do the production of ginger root teas. I'm in the co-op ginger root processing in Dolores. Now what we're doing is right now is the ginger's been received and it's being washed. And you can see that they are making sure that all the deliveries of the ginger root have been washed. And now they're being cleaned. And when they're and when the production workers finish cleaning, they put them over here into the area of the juicer. Now normally, like many of you, I buy mine whole. And now that they're putting them into the extractor. And for small co-ops like this, having these extractors are, uh, have been a big game changer for their, for their co-op. Painstaking efforts they have to go to to do this. Now remember, it's all under under clean and sterile conditions, and I've been having these ginger tea powder every day. the general manager and the staff are doing the exceptional job of overlooking the process. But today's Thursday, it's the end of October, and today's a big production day. See what's going to happen here. I'm going to have to talk a little louder to make sure you can hear this. Irish, what are they doing right now? Uh, after the uh, filter, they powderize the juice. That's the procedure of the ginger. That's the first stage, okay. Yeah.
Now I'm going to test right now. It's about 30 degrees outside, and in here it's getting warm. It's probably pretty cold, but during the hot summer months, it can get a bit barely hot in here. But right now it's actually very kind of pleasant to work in today, so it's been a good day to film. So, Irish, what happens when they're they're boiling the water? Uh, it lasts three hours to powder the juice. That one. And what? So, how long do they boil it for until? What's that? What happens after they boil this? After the powder. And uh, no, after the powder. <laughs> Powder. Yeah. And so we wait for a few just like minutes. that. Yeah. So we wait for a few minutes. Yeah, we're going through the uh, final processes of the boiling of the of the liquid we saw earlier in the video. And now we're coming down to the various stages. See how see how thickening up at different stages? saw that in the process beginning to the end and I know they could spend hours with a lot of manual labor doing this and of course you saw the storage area so that ends our little tour today Mary thank you very much all right thank you well now we're getting out of the production area and we're coming to see the finished product the quality control, but look at the finished product that's in here. Now, during COVID, it had a little bit of service build, uh, surplus build up, but uh, now they got a lot ready for shipment and just some of their smaller suppliers and a lot of the other outlets that want to do uh, ginger tea and a lot of the bulk ones that are doing so. Now you see how your ginger is shipped in bulk. So as I end of my time at the co-op, I just want to give you some idea of some of the products they have. Take a look at the size of the ginger brew, the instant, and also the smaller packages of the instant. And what they got is a great little peanut brittle, which I can if I bring to my friends Mongolia, and also the ginger brew, which I've been having a lot of. So thanks for allowing me to tour this, guys. This has been, been great. Thank you. My last day in Dolores. We'll see what happens here. With this mini typhoon coming through. This has been going on for 24 hours. Thanks for watching, and check out my other travels in Mongolia, and we hope to see you again.